Well, thank you very much. We've had a very big day. We have two more stops, this one and then Michigan and Grand Rapids. That's where we ended the last campaign. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to go probably over to one of our offices. But for the most part, I think we'll be, and you'll be coming with us, I imagine, but we'll be going over to one of the offices, perhaps in Virginia. Uh, it's been an amazing day. It's been an amazing two days. I don't think anybody's ever seen crowds like this. We're getting very good results from early voting and from ballots, and uh, we'll have to see how it all works out. We won't know for a little while. I think the uh, Pennsylvania decision by the Supreme Court is a very dangerous decision. I think it's a, a decision that allows tremendous cheating to go on after the fact. But before the votes are tabulated, I think it's a very, very dangerous decision for our country. And I hope it's going to be uh, readjusted. We'll be asking for that, but it is a uh, it is a horrendous decision for our country. It's a mistake. It allows cheating. It allows cheating at a very high level and very easy cheating, too. Uh, they have uh, much commentary about it on television. I noticed on the way over, they have a lot of commentary about it, how it totally opens up Pennsylvania for cheating. And we can't let that happen to the people of Pennsylvania or to the people of our country. So let's, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But we cannot let that, and I'm saying this before the fact, not after the fact. We can't let that happen to the people of our country. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy the speech. Yes. You are flowers from voting day. Are you nervous about anything? Are you, here you are just a few hours before voting day. Are you nervous about anything? I've been here before. I think we're in a much stronger position than we were four years ago. Uh, the campaign, I mean, you're witness to it. The campaign has even more energy. Uh, the crowds are much bigger. Uh, they're much bigger. And we had the biggest crowds ever. And these crowds are much bigger. Nobody's ever seen this. This has never happened before. And there's a, there's a tremendous spirit. Even the uh, organic, the, the you know, where they have 100 miles of cars, where they have thousands of tractors, where they have 6,000 boats in a lake or in the ocean. We're in a canal. Nobody's ever seen this before. And, uh, you know, I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm just a part of it. I'm representative of it, but I'm really just a part of it. And I'm really honored by it. And I think you're gonna see all of those people voting. And it's gonna be a wave, that's my opinion. But I've never seen anything like it either. You go to Kenosha, or you go to Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, they say it's, it's like an unlimited number of people. Kenosha, they say they've never seen anything like it. We're going to be there in a half an hour, so you'll see. Are you expecting a long night tomorrow night? Do you think it's going to be a long, late night? We're concerned about Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is known for bad things happening with voting. You know that. And it's been known for it for a long time. And I'm very concerned when the court allows you to go outside of the November 3rd date and they allow you to do all sorts of things for an extended period of time. Bad things will happen. And bad things lead to other type things. It's, it's a very dangerous thing for our country. And I hope the Supreme Court has the wisdom to change it because they can't let it stand. All they have to do is look at the commentators on television that are experts at this, and they will say it will allow cheating. It's almost like putting officials that are political hacks in many cases and not the most honorable people. It's like putting them on the honor system. And we can't let this happen. We can't let it happen. This is going to be a great election. I think you're going to have a, a result that I think is going to be a very positive result for the people. Look, I watched Joe Biden go out. There's nobody shows up to see him. He's got the circles. He can't fill up the circles. And then we have 40 and 50,000 people. You saw Miami last night. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. So I don't, you know, I don't, I can't imagine, because this is really the will of the people. They like what we're doing. They like what we're doing more than they've ever liked anything in a long time. So we can't let this happen in Pennsylvania. So I'll see you over in Kenosha. I'll see you at Grand Rapids, and maybe we'll get to talk again, okay? Thank you all very much. Thank you.